No better than Divine Pisces 222. It is Wednesday, June 17th, 2020. I'm going to do an energy check in for the Twin Flames today. See what we got going on. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I did speak to another reader last night. I, I, you know, it's been a while since I've actually spoken to another reader. Um, and she saw remain nameless, but, uh, some crazy crap going on right now, guys. Um, I know I'm being psychically attacked, and I'm pretty sure it was affecting my soulmate. In fact, I told him that today. Um, he suddenly got sick. Just out of nowhere. He got sick. Really, really bad sick. Um, and the first place he went to wouldn't administer uh, any sort of treatment at all until test results came back. But that... Uh, the very next morning, he ended up having to go to the ER because he needed immediate assistance. All right. It's just really bizarre. Uh, but I'm fine. Like, I, I don't have any symptoms and neither does my daughter. So I'm like, what the crap was that? But is this is following a really disturbing dream that I had the night before uh, involving uh, my soulmate, my, my DM, and my DM's karmic. And we were all there. So I'm just like, you know, I can't. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I really don't. Um, all I know is it's just weird. And so I think a lot of us are being attacked right now. So um, do yourself a favor. Up your protection game, okay? That's what I'm having to do. I had to put a bubble of protection around my my, uh, my soulmate. Um, you know, and he's better. He's better, by the way. Um, you know, but it's just like how quickly that happened you know um it's really strange and that's actually really weird that that's the first card out um so anyway uh yeah i mean i i feel so much has been off balance lately within these connections it's been really really strange um just how much like the trajectory of these connections have shifted okay and uh just how much of an emphasis on the psychic connection has increased like it's it's almost like we are st this year i feel is is steering away from the whole idea of 3d union and is achieving the 5d union which you have to achieve first before 3D union is even possible. If that's even, you know, what you agreed to. Um, but, you know, there's another theory floating out there, which, I mean, makes a lot of sense to me. And, and I've had this download before, to be quite honest. And, you know, I'll probably get some crap for this, but I don't really care. Um, this whole idea, and I, I've actually said this before about not everybody is going to achieve union in the 3D with their counterparts. Now, as I, I am very pro-union, okay? So keep that in mind. But your counterpart also has what? Free will, right? They have free will. And you can't control what they do, Okay? And so this whole idea of free will, if your counterpart chooses not to step into mission or to do what they are supposed to do and to deal with their crap and to clear their karma and to, to move forward to achieve union, it may not happen with your counterpart in this lifetime. However, there is a plan B, okay? There's always a backup plan in place. In case that should happen okay so those of you who are you know probably prepared to come at me why aren't you pro-union I am but it may not be union with your counterpart if your counterpart refuses to do what they're supposed to do okay so keep that in mind all right it can also be um, you know some of you there is there is another part there's another path that you're supposed to take first before your counterpart actually gets to where they need to be in order to do what they need to do. Okay, so there's several different ways that this could work. No two connections are exactly the same. Okay, 
But I do know that a lot of us are on a very similar trajectory. I will say like a lot of us are, are in parallel right now, you know, um, I know at least from people that I've talked to, personal readings I've done, other readers I've spoken to, we're all, a lot of us are in parallel right now, okay? And a lot of us are feeling this at this time that we have no control over anything at all. <laughs> like, some of us don't even feel in control of ourselves right now. Like, it's just kind of like, which way do we go? Source, help me, take me by the hand because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, it's just like we're kind of just going with the flow, literally just going where source takes us. But then we hit a roadblock and we're like, well, I thought you wanted me to go this way. Now what? Right. Um, and so, you know, that being said, I, it's like I do feel that what's happening right now is forcing all of us, most of us, the majority of us to literally just give up, okay? When I say give up, I mean surrender, okay? So don't freak out. To literally just surrender control, okay? Just surrender it. That's where your clarity is going to come, okay? That's where your information is gonna come through, okay? And that's gonna lead you to, aha, got it. Fire lit up under my butt, move forward, okay? Regardless what your counterpart does or does not do, okay? Now, like I said, I do feel this year there's a strong emphasis on the 5D connection as opposed to the 3D connection. Some of you may be literally separating physically from your counterpart, okay? But the 5D connection appears to be getting stronger, right? Um... Just, I mean, I've had, I've had, I've had my own confirmations of that in my own situation within the last few days. It's pretty freaky, okay? Uh, and as, you know, as much as I want, there are days I just want my counterpart to not be my counterpart. Unfortunately, he is, and it is what it is, you know? Um, and I'm sure a lot of you have been in that place too, Okay. Wow. Okay. So divine masculine. Yeah. Divine masculine releasing a lot of heartache and burden. I feel a lot of guilt right now. Divine masculine is coming to terms with some of his actions. Divine masculine is really in the energy of forgiving himself right now for everything, for the things that he's done, uh, for the things that he said past action really i do feel a lot of them right now especially in karmic situations some of them are are really trying to find forgiveness from their karmic situation well it was skipping so you know that's divine truth uh, but they're they're asking for forgiveness in the, some of their karmic situations some of them are trying to make amends in the karmic situations okay um, and that, that's not a bad thing. You have to look at it this way. They are, they're, they're clearing that karma. There is a karmic debt in that karmic situation that they're trying to clear it right now. Okay. They're trying to clear the toxicity. They're trying to make it right. Okay. Just because, you know, they're not quote unquote leaving the situation or whatever it is, doesn't mean that it, it's not a bad thing. Okay. They're trying to clear that karma, which is going to make them better people. I mean, realistically, okay? Um, so this is a good thing, okay? And you also have to keep in mind that you share, uh, as your counterparts, other half, I guess, you share a karmic debt with that karmic if they have one, which most of them do, whether that's a partner or a, or a family member, whatever, a boss. You have karma with that, that particular person, okay? So who needs to ask for forgiveness? Maybe you do. I mean, and this actually came in, I, I mean, you know, I, I spoke with Kayla about this before, okay, with Wicked Virgo. And, and yeah, she's absolutely right. And I said this before, we do share karmic debt with our, our counterparts' karmics, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, so a lot of Divine Masculines right now are trying to step up. They are trying to step up. They're trying to be solid. They're trying to ask for forgiveness, okay? A lot of them, their shadow selves are coming up and biting them in the butt, 
okay? And they're trying to clear that. They're trying to clear it. They're trying to make it right. And that's not a bad thing, so don't think it is, okay? But what this is going to do is it's going to help move the wheel forward, literally, so they can deal with their crap. So that's a good thing, okay? It's a good thing. Yeah, justice. That's it. Boom. Bingo. Clearing the karma, okay? Literally clearing the karma. Releasing the negativity. Releasing the burdens, so to speak, so that they can claim victory in these situations, guys. Okay? This is not a bad thing. It is not a bad thing. In fact, you should be... Uh... At least I know I am. I'm actually very proud of my Divine Masculine. I, I am. I'm very proud. <laughs> very proud of him. Uh, so, I mean, it's just... You gotta look at the bigger picture, guys. Don't be selfish. Okay? You have your own journey you have to, to take. You have your own steps you need to walk. Okay? And so do they. All right, so Divine Feminine, yeah. Okay, so Divine Feminine moving toward a healing opportunity right now too. So some of you are needing to release this connection right now, okay, in order to move forward. Yeah, some of you have been in that indecision for a while. You've been in that confusion energy. Some of you just not wanting to have anything to do with the journey. Some of you went in denial about the journey. Some of you were like, well, my person's not my, trust me, I went through this. You know, I, I don't want my person to be my person because, you know, something else great is happening to me. Maybe this is this is what I'm supposed to do. But all the while, it's just kind of hitting you in the face. You know, while you're in denial, the no, your person is still your person. It's just not going the way you want it to right now. You need to release control, okay? You need to release control. Put your defenses down. Stop trying to control everything, Divine Feminine. Okay, now that feminine has done her her fair share of being in, trying to be in control. Okay, it's not just divine masculine. All right, um, yeah, I mean that's just it. That's just it. Trying to be in control of the situation, trying to constantly keep that control is what's making you feel defeated, divine feminine. Stop! Stop it! Stop! 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 Okay, it's just keeping you in limbo. Okay, keeping you in limbo. Some of you have something else you need to do first. Some, some of you, seriously, you need you have something else you need to do. And some of you have been emotional, or I'm sorry, mentally manipulating yourself. And I said this before. You have been mentally manipulating yourselves to keep yourself from moving forward because you feel like you're supposed to be here for some reason. Okay, but the universe is trying to get you to go somewhere else. So, so release it. Release it. Just release it. Okay? Stop playing games with yourself. <laughs> Stop telling yourselves lies. Okay? Um, I mean, some of you have, some of you are still in some karmic situations too. Some of you still have some karmic debt you're needing to wrap up in those situations that you haven't done it. You haven't been, you haven't been focusing on that. You haven't been, been focusing on that because you've been focusing on uh, the connections and what is not happening in the connections. Okay? So time to release that guys all right connecting energies yeah illusions boom there you go that's exactly what i just said illusions being shattered within the connection and this is what i mean like i think the biggest illusion that's being shattered is with divine feminine with divine masculine right now this whole idea that because divine masculine is trying to work it out in the karmic situation trying to clear their karma means what what does it mean to you divine feminine that he's that he's doing this that he's trying to make it right what is, what is the lie you're telling yourself? Okay? And the illusion with Divine Masculine, the illusion with Divine Masculine right now, <laughs> is that he can make it work. <laughs> okay? 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 But, to be fair, I mean, yes, this is an illusion that he can make it work, that he can control the situation, but at the same time, it's bringing in its own clarity. It's going to bring in its own resolution of karma. Okay? So release that illusion. Release the illusion. Those illusions are being shattered within the connection, okay? Maybe the connection's not what you think it is, okay? Some of you have been so rooted in what this connection should be and what it is to you that you're not looking at the bigger picture. That's what I'm talking about, okay? So massive illusions being shattered in the connections right now. A lot of uh, codependency mainly and toxicity is supposed to be released right now. This is what I mean. 
release by releasing the connection because some of you just need to do that some of you it's for your highest good to just let it go let it go let whatever's going to play out play out okay stop trying to control it you cannot control karma you cannot you cannot control karma you can clear it okay but if you have karmic debt it, you have to pay it out <laughs> you can't control the situation just let it play out okay justice will be served okay karma will be cleared with within your life but also within the connection that's what's happening right now that this karmic debt the divine masculine is clearing with this karmic where whoever that may be is helping to clear connection or, or karma within the connection okay the illusions that you're shattering divine feminine the illusions that you're shattering within yourself right now about yourself whatever it is is shattering illusions within the connection okay it's all connected it's all connected okay so it's time it's just time to release resentment i think there's just a lot of resentment in these connections that need to be released okay and once you do that then you can stand in your truth you can stand in integrity and the connection itself will be an integrity okay the foundation will have integrity and it can stand okay new beginning coming with these connections and i feel it's going to be a lot of clarity there's going to be a lot of truth in these connections. Um, even if it's unsaid in the 3D, I'm telling you, these 5D connections are getting stronger, okay? It, it, it's, it used to frustrate me that not a night would go by that my Divine Masculine didn't visit me in a dream and tell me something, show me something, some sort of message coming through. And it was just so frustrating. I'm like, stop, 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 you know? uh you know the 3d doesn't match the 5d i don't know what's real blah 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 and then i finally got to the point where you know what i'm just going to embrace this because he's obviously telling me something he's showing me something that i need to fix do you see um and that's just always been the way he's communicated with me all right so messages from your counterpart that's fitting Telling you, 5D connections growing. Growing. All right. Messages and advice from the source. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah again this this has come up before some of you need to refocus your attention okay to yourself clear your own karma find your own forgiveness <laughs> have faith have faith have faith have faith have faith have faith okay and set your boundaries some of you still have not done this with your counterpart okay you haven't done it um and you haven't done it with yourself either. Yeah, balance. This has been repeating. That's that's crazy. We've had uh well see, we had Libra and then we had justice in Divine Masculine's reading, and then justice in the connecting energies, and now we have balance. I mean that 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 solidifies it right there. Bring yourself into balance. It needs to happen. Uh karma is being cleared right now, okay? Keep yourself grounded and acceptance, obviously. Okay, a lot of the, again, it, it, a lot of what's happening right now is pushing us to release control, okay, and to accept our path and to accept the clearing of karma, okay? All right, guys, I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.